Good morning, friends. It's Sunday morning. Let's pray this holy name. Let's get up early. I'm about to start back on nights, on days. Excuse me. I'm about to start on days. So that's why I gotta get up early. Start getting used to uh, the time frame again. The Lord Jesus Christ. He is powerful. Let's praise His holy name, guys and gals. Let's praise His holy name. Why have they removed? Why have they been removed when the Lord said not to? Why have they been removed when the Lord said not to? This is Deuteronomy 19, 14. Please go to Deuteronomy this morning. Deuteronomy 19. Go to Deuteronomy 19. <clears throat> the Lord Jesus Christ, He is powerful. He's powerful. Paul, one second. When I search for that, Paul, one second for Steve. Oh, don't forget your early curly hairs. All right, I got one person on there. Hey, man, good morning to you. I know it's uh four thirty in the morning here. It's gonna be even earlier. It'll be about four o'clock. Whenever uh, it'll be about four o'clock. Whenever uh, whenever I uh, start back on days tomorrow. Maybe four in the morning, so it's about four thirty right now. It's just the Lord is powerful. Y'all please pray for my brother. My brother and his his daughter and and and, and her mother. Their mother just got put on her on her deathbed. Please pray for Miss Connie Ann and, and Woods and uh pray for uh hello Miss 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 L U C L U C Dash K Y. I don't know sure how you pronounce it, but it's not lucky. It's L U C K Y because it's spread apart. We pray for my brother Kevin as he uh he has problems with his uh, with his appendix. I think it might be gallbladder stones. So I'm not sure, not appendix, but it's his his pelvis pelvis I'm not sure exactly. But with the words named, but he is powerful. Hello, Miss 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 Me Mewa Weeps. Good morning to you, ma'am. Sweetheart. Why have they been removed when the Lord said not to? As in Deuteronomy 19.14. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 19.14 right here where it says, This is the law when a man dieth. No, oh, that's numbers. I was in the wrong one, guys. I guess I was in the wrong one. 19.14. Here we go. I was in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 19.14. Excuse me. Right here where the Bible says, Thou shalt not remove thy neighbors in Denmark which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit the land that the Lord, that God giveth thee to possess it. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Gill. Let me read it one more time. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord, thy God, giveth thee to possess it. Oh, please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all not move, remove landmarks as some have been done, as I'm going to mention here in a little while, back two years ago, when they had these, uh, this, this protest here in the United States of America. Please, Jesus, help us not remove landmarks anymore, Lord. And please help the ones that ask for forgiveness, the ones that have done that, Lord. Please, Jesus, help them know that they did wrong. Please, Jesus, help us all. Guide us all to help us get to church this morning. Help us to dress our best for church this morning, Lord. And please help everybody that's saved. Help everybody that's saved. Write up their own testimony and let people know about you, Lord. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Help us all share your word, Lord Jesus. Help us share your word every single day of our lives, Lord. Not just Sunday and Wednesday. Help us to share your word every day, Lord. Help us to understand that whosoever shall ever got alive for Christ Jesus shall suffer persecutions. Help us understand that it's going to happen. It's coming. But we need to be strong and have good courage every single day of our life. Be, be not afraid. Neither be thou as may. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with the server. Thou goest, as you said, but said like in 2 Timothy 3.12 and Joshua 1.9. Help us, Jesus, guys. All. Thank you for putting that word on my heart. Please help the way. Learn it. Help us all get your Bible and read it. Learn it, love it, live it, and share it, Lord Jesus. Help us all. Help me this morning as I preach. Thank you so much. Be with the boys this morning. Help, help my kids, Lord, please. Help my young men. Help them get to church and praise your holy name. Help them, Jesus. 
help them understand their dads as we do us for, for the children's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, please. Help us all, guide us all, direct us all. In the name we pray. Amen. We do we do for our children's sake, guys and gals. We do it for our children's sake. Because if we don't, we are to teach ye your children a bit. Let their children teach their children and their children another generation. If we don't keep it going, guys, this world's going to get worse and worse and worse. But please be strong and good courage, my friends. Be strong and good courage. I like the way that I say, so it looks like it's cool looking at when it's dark like that. It looks cool. It's gray on each side, but it's there. Kept trimmed up yesterday. Praise the Lord. Got Paul one station, one second for station. Oh, I gotta give me a little go to. So why had they removed when the Lord said not to? Well, it says right here, "Do not thou shall not remove thy neighbor's nail mark." So why had they removed when the Lord said not to? But people, people are living for the devil. That's that's the main main thing right there. And the devil here, he's here to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus come to give us life and more abundantly. Your Papa said. But the devil is like a roaring lion, seeing whom he may devour. He is the prince. Uh oh, he is the prince of power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. He is in the children of disobedience, my friends. Let me scoot over just a little bit. Because people are living for the devil because he is the prince and power of the air. Like I said, the spirit that I work in the children of disobedience. It was disobedient for them to not take down them statues in 2020. To name four of the many, we got the Confederate, Confederate soldiers and sailors monument that was, that was located in Indianapolis. It was removed June 8th, 2020. The statue of Raphael Summons it was in Mobile, Alabama. It was removed June 5th of 2020. The statue of Sam Davis was in Nashville, Tennessee. It was removed June 12th of 2020. And the statue of John B. Castleman was was moved and from Louisville, Kentucky on June 8th, 2020. All these on this protest of uh, Georgia. I forgot the man's name. The man named George, he he uh, he, he died. Because, yeah. We need to be strong and good courage. Live for Jesus, guys and gals. Things happen. Things happen. Okay. Things will happen in this life. But we need to make sure we're saved. Because what is, what is your life, my friend? Your life is even, excuse me, is even as a vapor. That appeareth for a little time, but then vanisheth away. We need to be strong and of good courage every single day of our life. Let's go to Psalms 31 24 real quick. Real quick, I just popped that just popped in my mind right there. 31 24. 31 24. What the Bible says right here. The Bible says right here, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye the hope. In the Lord, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. So let's love our neighbors and do evil, and not do evil towards them. Let's love our neighbors and not do evil towards them. Love the Lord first, even before yourselves, folks. Even before yourself, we need to love the Lord first because we love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, and all thy mind. And love your neighbors as yourself. Love your neighbors as yourself. As Matthew twenty-two. 37 through 39, because we are commanded to love. We are commanded to love our neighbors. Okay, we're going to go bring Deuteronomy. Let's go to 15 through 21. Read 15 through 21 and 19. It says here, One witness shall not rise up against a man for, an, 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 for any iniquity, for any sin, for, or for any sin, in, in any sin that he sinneth at the, at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. If a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priest and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisitions. And behold, if the witness 
be a false witness and has testified falsely against his brother, then shall you do unto him as he had done had done unto you, unto his brother. So shalt thou be put evil away from among you. And those which remain shall hear in fear and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And thine eyes shall not pity. We not pity for anybody. But life shall, but life shall go for life. If we're going to murder, then we're going to be put to death. So we're going, we're going to have face consequences. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. We need to be strong, guys, because he has commanded. All right, because in Psalm 79, 9, help it. We need to ask the Lord for help. The things are going to happen in this life. We need to ask the Lord for help every day. Help us, Lord, O oh God, of our salvation, for any, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge us, purge our, purge away our sins for thy name's sake. It says in Psalm 79, 9, help us, O oh Lord, of, of, O oh God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for the, for thy name's sake. We need to live for his name's sake. Cause we all, we are also commanded, my friends. We are also commanded right here. For God commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shielded, hath, hath shielded in our hearts to give light of the knowledge of the glory of God in face of Jesus Christ. We have to be a shield for, for God, for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shielded in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We need to read it. We need to learn it. We need to love it. We need to live it. We need to share it. It's His Word, guys. We need to dig in and try our best not to sin. Because if we murder anyone, you shall surely pay the consequences. Back in Leviticus 24. We'll go a couple couple books back. Couple, Leviticus 24, 17. Thought I wrote that down, but I guess I did. 24, 17. Or right hear what it says. And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. We're going to pay the consequences. If we kill a man, we're going to pay the consequences, my friends. So let's stand up for our Lord. He that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. I didn't have it written down. That's Leviticus 24, 17. We're going to need to go through our Bible. Here's the rest of the pages. It means we're trying to learn. Let's learn his word, my friends. Let's stand by his word, with my friends. Then the world, then he, the Lord, will surely stand by us. When he stand by his word, the Lord will surely stand by us. If God be for us, guys, who can be against us? All things work together for good to them who love God, with them worthy called according to his purpose. He is in control, says in Romans 8, 31 and 8, 28. So y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all. Help us all get up and get to church this morning and praise your holy name. Help us get saved by your grace through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift from God, not of works. So any man should boast if we're not saved already, Lord. Help us, Jesus, get saved today. Thank you so much. Have me run this is real, real quick. Pray one more time for us sing. Thank you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Because we all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now it's Romans 3.23 and 6.23 because am I ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ? No, I'm not ashamed of you, my friends. You shouldn't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ either. Is there any of us righteous to get to heaven without Jesus? No. There's none righteous. No. Not one. That was Romans 1.16 and 3.10 because God commended his love towards us when we we are sinners. When we we are sinners, Christ, He died for us. He was on that cross. He said, "It is finished." He bowed His head and gave up His ghost for us. As Romans five eight and John nineteen thirty, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever, whoo, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. My friends, as like Romans ten nine and ten thirteen, and then. If you believe on the name of the Son of God, you know you have eternal life if you believe on the name of the Son of God. First John five thirteen. If this, if, let's go first it's first John. First John five eleven. First John five eleven. Take long we, we know it. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. He that hath the Son 
hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. We need Jesus. He is in us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life in John 3, 16. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again, John 3, 7. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, my friends. Acts 4, 12. If we pray one more time, because he will stand with us. We'll stand by him, my friends. We'll stand up for him. Let's be strong. Be of, be of good cheer. I, as he says in John 16, 33, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He is the He is the creator of the heavens. And the, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. John 1 1 and Genesis 1 1. God is so amazing. God took all the scripture in my mind this morning. What a, how powerful. Help us pray one more time when we didn't want to sing. Because He will stand by us. So let's, let's stand, up, stand up for Him. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for everything you do. It will help us all to stand up for you and get to church and bring our take our families to church and be, be the witness of what our neighbors say. Why is he leaving so early? Because he, yeah, we're going to church, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Please help after church today. Help everybody at Honda. Help, help this family day. Help help my boys want to come too, Lord. Please, I sure miss them. Wish my boys would come with me to see how the daddy does every day at work. Please, Jesus, help us all. God is all, direct us all, keep us safe. Help everybody, everybody, everybody in this whole entire world get to church this morning and understand that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, to the Father, but by you, Lord. As you say in John 14, 6. Thank you, Jesus. Help me hear as I sing this morning. In your name we pray. Amen. Yes. We got to stand by him, my friends. He, he says, I will stand by you. I will help you through. When you don't know what to do and you can't cope, I will dry your eyes. I will fight your fight. I will hold you tight and I won't let go. Ooh, come on, Jesus. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all please pray for my brother. Pray for his, pray for his daughter. Pray for, pray for my boys. Pray for my dad. Pray for, pray for. Please, please pray, folks, pray. I see that as the only way. How else are we going to get to heaven? Prayer through Jesus. We got to pray to Jesus to, to be accepted. He will, he said, 1 John 1, 9 right here. 1 John 1, 9 right here. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. So let's seek him. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face. Continually, First Chronicles sixteen ten. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. It's early, early. Sixteen eleven. Excuse me. Y'all have a good day. Bye. -bye.